my name is Jackson Harvey, I'm a local Fremantle mural artist and I've been invited by the Water Corporation to take part in this Splash of Colour mural project. We'll be painting two murals, uh, one here at a pump station on Sampson Street in Wycombe Valley and the second is a couple of power transformer boxes over on Port Beach Road in Leighton. I don't feel it's possible to overstate the importance of water to us as living organisms that require it for continual survival. On the way here, I was driving through the streets and there's been a lot of work recently by the Water Corporation digging up all the old pipes in Fremantle. Couldn't help but reflect upon how much work actually goes into bringing us clean drinking water. There's so much infrastructure that we don't even realise is there. Aerosol is definitely one of my favourite mediums to use. It has a range of advantages when it comes to painting large-scale outdoor murals. It's durable, it's really quick, you can get some really cool, unique fading effects with it. Given that this mural is in Fremantle, I wanted to do something that was really reminiscent of uh, Fremantle's nautical and marine history. Blue swimmer crabs are pretty prolific here up and down the West Australian coastline, so I thought that would be a pretty cool way to represent that uh, relationship with the ocean and nature. The design is three blue swimmer crabs set against a pixelated explosion of colour nestled amongst a whole bunch of like old marine rope. Water is super important for everybody from blue swimmer crabs to humans. We just can't live without it, so it's super important that we look after our oceans and our waterways. With the Splash of Colour projects, we also go into the schools to deliver a presentation about the artwork. These kind of community art projects are a great opportunity to get the kids excited and engaged with water conservation. I'm hoping that my artwork can bring a literal splash of colour to what would otherwise have been quite a dull and boring feature in the neighbourhood. And hopefully the residents of Samson Street can walk by and it can brighten up the day a little bit.